Hey everybody, it's Cam from Titanium. Today we have a benchmark video of the Samsung Galaxy N Nexus. I almost said Galaxy Note there. Um, so this is the very, very brand new smartphone, the Galaxy Nexus, which packs a new 720p display, 720 by 1280, super high resolution screen. It is a 4.65 inch screen. It has Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich, which is a very, very big upgrade. And I'll be doing a whole video just on ice cream sandwich but it is a very, very cool new phone, and we have to do some benchmark testing. This device is packing a 1.2 gigahertz dual core TI OMAP processor. So a little bit different processor, the kind of the same thing we saw in the Droid 3, if you know that phone, and also very similar to what we saw, what's in the Droid Razor. So just there's some preference, but without any further ado, let's do our six benchmark tests. Quadrant, Linpack, and Tutu, Ninamark, and Neocore. We'll start off with Linpack. So, while we're doing these, uh, uh, 45, while we're doing these, we can just talk about my first, you know, 14 hours with the device. So I've been using this device for, yeah, about 14 to 18 hours now, and it's a very, very, very good device. It is exactly what I was expecting. I was expecting to get, like, have a really good device, and this is definitely a device that delivers on all those fronts. So I'll be doing more videos in terms of those things, but one place it doesn't deliver in some of the testing I've done previously is benchmarks. You can see it's only getting a 70, 70s, not even into the 80s. So this chip does not seem to be delivering very high on benchmarks, but that doesn't really disappoint me very much because um, the performance has been very, very snappy. So the benchmarks doesn't really disappoint me that much. Uh, let's go, oh, we just did limp pack. Wow, that's a fail. Let's do N22. So I already ran the N22 test. If we look at the score chart here. There it is. Let's see. The Galaxy Nexus, the Galaxy S2 are all along the same lines there. Mine's like a little bit lower, but it's like basically probably like two points or whatever. So they're all like around there. So, you know, good. Nothing amazing. And I guess we'll run, let's say, I need a Mark 1 now. It's got that chill music, as I said in my last benchmark video. You can see on devices that, I mean, on apps that still need the menu button, that's what it looks like right there. So if you're wondering how the menu button is implemented on apps that need it, screen is really, really beautiful. It's really shiny. It's that contour display. So 48.1. Nothing super impressive again. That is just, you know, pretty typical. We'll do Nino Mark 2 now. Unimark 2 is a much more intensive test. You can see we're hovering around 30 frames per second. You can see how glossy the screen is right there. <clears throat> There's no Gorilla Glass on this screen. It is a fortified, like, reinforced glass, but it's not as strong as Gorilla Glass because they cannot make curved Gorilla Glass. So do not be smashing this device around as much as a Gorilla Glass device. See, only 24 frames per second. So not the best. Okay, let's do Neocore. Okay. I have gotten that before, but I did not think I was going to get it again. It looks like Neocore is not working on Ice Cream Sandwich or a Galaxy Nexus. So we'll move on to Quadrant. So let's just do the full benchmark. Um, so I've got this Galaxy Nexus now. Tell me in the comment description below what kind of videos you guys want to see. You know, do you want to see browser comparisons? Do you want to see, you know, like ice cream sandwich? Like I'm gonna do all of them. I'm gonna do lots. But what do you want to see first? Because I cannot do everything at the same time. So just put it in the description below. Not the description. The comments below. Tell me what you want to see. Tell me what you think of this video. Just tell me all that kind of stuff. So, we will s looks like we're getting about 30 something frames per second there. It's always cut off a bit. The bottom. 
I was not when I when I ran this before. It was not a very impressive benchmark result. It was really slow here, like getting seven frames per second. I don't know what is going on. You know, as I always say in my benchmark videos, benchmarks really are not everything. The device is incredibly fast performing. It's the most smooth Android device. It's the smoothest Android device I've ever used. See, that's a really low score. Look at that. That is like 1640, 27. It's like only above the Nexus One. Like, this is really low. I don't know. It must be that Quadrant is not yet optimized for ice cream sandwich. I bet a lot of these benchmark tools are not optimized yet, but that is very low. So those have been my benchmark tests. As I said, the device is very fast regardless of the benchmarking. You can see just swiping through to the animations there. It is a very, very smooth device. We have you. So, very smooth device, regardless of what craziness we're getting in the benchmarking. That seems very, very weird. But still, doesn't really matter because the device is butter. So smooth. Very, very smooth. Let's just see, there's my unboxing video. I know my unboxing video is short, guys, but I just wanted to get it out there and didn't want to give you guys something long to chew into. More videos coming, obviously. HD video recording all probably coming today. Camera shots will probably be going up. Lots of stuff is happening. I'm going to be doing an ice cream sandwich walkthrough because if you see here, I've already customized all my home screen with the widgets. I've got my folders, the iOS folders. You can see how making the folders really easy. Look, you just drag it. Bam. So very easy to make folders, which is very nice. They've really taken a lot of different things from different OSs. They've got folders from iOS, which is like an iOS thing. They've got like WebOS cards, so you just swipe away. Just like cards, but done vertically. So instead of like horizontal cards, you swipe them up, you just swipe them off the side. So a lot of different stuff from different OSs, and it is very, very good. So, so far Ice Cream Sandwich is incredible. And I will leave, you got, leave this video with a little bit of a tidbit, a little Easter egg. Anyway, that has been Camper Titania doing a benchmark test of the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Adios amigos, hope you enjoyed the video.